Welcome everyone! Hi! Hi everybody! Hope everyone's having a most Friday of Fridays. Welcome, welcome. I am Spacey Baltotelli. I'm a gadgeteer bat and a game developer. Oh, Dark Moon, starting off with the care combo. Thank you. Alright, I'll take it being stretchy. Well. Ah. Ah, good stuff. <clears throat> so, today, um, I'm gonna be doing some drawing. Um, I'm gonna be focusing on, like, some of the characters and assets that appear in the our designated underwater level, uh, Depths of Atlantis. Because it's got a few cutscenes in it that, um, that kind of need, like, character animations to go with them. Um, so I figured I'd experiment with, uh, some poses, um, alongside, like, drawing, like, a few, like, more, like, background assets, uh, for Atlantis. Maybe some enemy concepts, too. Hmm. <clears throat> Weather was supposed to be terrible, DCHN, but so far it's been meh. Well, at least it's not terrible. <laughs> but yes, welcome, uh, DCHN, Rob, Apps, Blake, uh, Darkamoon, Haas, uh, your local puppy girl, uh, Eslats, Argo, uh, uh, Hellsword, Lancelot, Maka! Nice. Okay, um... I'm just adjusting my heat blanket. I got it wrapped around my shoulders so that uh, they don't get tense. Okay, so uh, first of all, I wanted to show off the excellent sprite work once again by Edge Drive on the tile set. Um, I did show this off in prior streams, but... It just looks so good. And it comes in three different shades, so I can put it in, like, foregrounds and backgrounds and stuff. I have actually done a significant amount of work blocking out the Atlantis level. Um, let me see if I can pull that up. Let's see. I've got my Godot right here. Edge Drive! Edge Drive! Hi! Hope you're doing well. Okay. So... <clears throat> this is just one of several assets that I've been working on. I've been putting a lot of work blocking in the layout and trying to see what, what works well for the level. <laughs> it's an interesting challenge because, um, <clears throat> unlike the beach level, <laughs> which is mostly on land, but it has underwater sections um, interspersed throughout. This is like 90% underwater, and then there's some like dry areas, like some dry caves that you can jump into. Um, a lot of the interiors of the Atlantean buildings are also dry, but like the central gimmick is these, um, <clears throat> is these kind of like, it's hard to describe, to describe what they do, but you enter them and you kind of go along a set path. Uh, until you come out the other side, and you can bounce off walls, too. So it essentially turns you, um, into, like, a bouncing ball of sorts without actually being a ball. It's almost like, for those who have played Freedom Planet, it's almost like a, like if Lilac's Dragon Boost was a gimmick rather than a core ability. That's what it kind of reminds me of. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, like, the idea I have is that, um, <clears throat> the player would kind of, like, guide uh, Pecora's submarine down through this tunnel. There would be something blocking the way here. They'd have to go up here, um, activate a switch, maybe. And then they keep going. And then there'd be, like, two of them that you have to activate here. <coughs> and then after that, you'd kind of go into uh, the Atlantis section that's under construction. And you'd have a few different options for, like, routes you can take, but it's no big deal because it's pretty, like, open-ended. So you can pretty much swim anywhere here. And then you enter the temple. Um, well, the first one. Well, it is kind of a singular temple, but there's, like, an outdoor section in the middle. So, like, you come through here, and it's, like, when you go through this, um, <clears throat> bubble block, or whatever, um you end up going in a dry area, and the inside of the temple is completely dry. And this part is designed to like, get you used to how this functions. 
So I've laid out a few rooms here, and then it'll take you to kind of like an exterior section where you have a vertical ascent. You swim upwards. <clears throat> And then you enter this, which is the second half of the temple. Um, but yeah, it's honestly very fun to play around with the bowl of blocks. Uh, I just need to like fill out the level with enemies and stuff. Um, and then I think it'll be in a pretty good position because even without any other enemies or gimmicks, it takes me like three and a half minutes to get from one side to the other. <laughs> so, so I don't want the stage to be too long. So I feel like it's almost there. You, oh, you hope the doggies are doing well? Yeah, they're doing quite well. Um, Paige is taking a nap on the on the office bed. <sighs> hmm, okay. So back to the drawing board, literally. <clears throat> I figured I would start with um with drawing some animations for Chloe. Because she is the designated Hall X fight in the world of nature, and you, uh... It's not a traditional boss fight. You have to race her. Because she stole the golden gear that you took from, from um, completing Depths of Atlantis. Like, you'll go to the surface, uh, Crony will do her victory animation, and in the middle of the victory animation, uh, Chloe comes in riding her whale mascot. Well, her orca mascot. And just, like, swipes it. <laughs> yeah, doggles! Uh, Samuel is in the kitchen barking for some reason. <laughs> but it's fine, he does that sometimes. But yeah, I have I have a couple variants of Chloe sprites that Ward helped me with. Uh, here's one with her, of her without a mask. She is notoriously extremely adorable under her mask. <laughs> um, so on top of that, I also want to like block out her orca and see how that feels. So I'm going to go ahead and expand the canvas a little bit. And I've also <coughs> grabbed a reference online. Uh, the only thing I could find was like merch of the of the Orca mascot. Ah, oh, he's so cute! Uh, I think this will be a good reference. Uh, I will probably just use Chloe's color palette, so I won't need to worry about swiping colors. Um. So I'm not sure if this is actually kind of like a chipified version of the character, so I'll kind of like use it as a kind of sort of reference point. Um, so I'm gonna put that in a different window so that I have it on hand on my secondary monitor for convenience. Yeah, the critter of all time. Now all it needs to be is it needs to be large enough for her to ride on, uh, since it's basically like a mode of transportation. Okay, uh, let's get started, shall we? Mm. So I got kind of a a, 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 a boopy little boop snoot right here, and then it goes like this, and then it's like. I don't think that's big enough. Okay, it's tails right here. The tail is white, but I'm just gonna block in a silhouette first. It's always a good idea. I want to draw it without the lifesaver first. <clears throat> so that way I make sure that it looks like the shape looks nice before I commit to that. Uh, Snoot should be shorter so it's more boopable. What is Samuel barking at? What is Paige barking at? I'm not expecting any packages, at least not none to get here soon. <laughs> I ordered, um, I ordered, like a, a few months ago, I ordered the full set of, um, How I Friends With You plushies, uh, for my favorite gen, which is Ian Council slash Ian Promise. Um, that is now on its way, so I'm excited. What the dog doing? 
a lot of nice little chippy plushies of like the main characters in the fan game that we're working on. <laughs> What's your dog doing? Um, I guess this looks fine. I'll just make it a little bit taller. Oh, hi, Anne. Hope you're doing well. Ah. I'm a bit of an EP battle today, but that's okay. It just makes the, the stream a little bit uh, extra, oh, like extra la relaxing to speak in calm voice. <laughs> they've, yes, they've started that drive. The Let's Annoy Mama tag team. <laughs> I do love some though. Now I kind of wonder if it should keep its tail down or if I should just like have it like straight out since it's gonna be swimming. It's like her mode of transportation. Well I will start with it like down and then I put the lifesaver over it. Uh let me grab the white color. Uh so we've got kind of a, like a space here for its eye. Very nice. Ah, okay. That's probably fine. No, let's make it a little bigger. Okay. So he's got like... <laughs> what the heck? This orca looks so sad. He's got like watery eyes. I'm gonna tone that down. I want him to look a little bit more serious, I guess. Okay, that's cool. Alright, that's fine. Uh, I will go ahead and... Make the snoot. I'm not sure how the white part looks under here. <clears throat> but the tail has a white part. I'm very glad <clears throat> that I've been doing more art streams lately. Because I've found myself more and more, like, running into situations where I don't even know where to begin with, like, pixel arting some of the characters in the game. But, like, in when I, when I stream it, I'm like, okay, well, I have to do something on the stream, so I'm just gonna go for it. So it really helps me. Yes, yes, Rob. Uh, thanks for reminding me. Today is also actually Alex's birthday and Chris's birthday. I, I thought it was yesterday, but no, it's today. So happy birthday, Alex. Happy birthday, Chris. And she's still trying to raise money for her dental surgery. Uh, so I hope that's going to go well. I think she'll make it. Our community's been pretty good about taking care of her when she needs to. And she is, she is like putting work to actually like, like to actually like earn the money that she needs with like her, with like the commissions that she's offering. So I think that's making her feel better about asking for money. Just the fact that she is actually like working for it. Cause I, I know, I know some friends who are like that. Like they don't feel comfortable asking for money unless they absolutely have to. Oh, thank you, Warb fan. Yes, if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, feel free to click that uh, like button and subscribe and hit the bell notification. Uh, 
Yeah, I totally feel you there, Eslax. This is pretty nice, I guess. Uh, I'm gonna make the belly a bit rounder. I'm gonna transfer some of the roundness from uh, the top to the bottom. And I'll just I'll just flatten this a little bit so that it feels okay for her to ride on this creature. That's pretty nice, I think. So now we, I like honestly I like how the life jacket kind of like acts as a way to make the flipper visible. I know a lot of like old school like Western cartoons will, will often add like a bright outline to like to like a dark colored um, body part if it's otherwise like imperceptible, but like the lifesaver avoids that issue. So that's quite interesting. Blue, blue skies, blue blue skies. I see. <clears throat> uh, okay. I wonder if I should draw the lifesaver separately from from the orca uh, itself. I'll draw it on a different layer just in case. Nice. Okay. Doesn't look perfectly spherical, so maybe what I should do is um, do this. And then rotate this. That's better. Might be a little thick, but we can make it thinner. Okay, that looks pretty good, I think. Maybe a little bit thinner. That's probably fine. Um, <clears throat> so now let's add the stripes. And we want to give the stripes a bit of a curve because we're dealing with um, <coughs> we're dealing with a round object here that's being um, viewed at from the front. So we want to give it kind of a bulge. Make it look bulgy. And round and spherical. This music reminds you of Kingdom Hearts, yeah. I feel like a lot of the soundtrack um, <clears throat> in the first Mario Party especially sounds like something that Square Enix uh, would have composed. But yeah, Kingdom Hearts music is, is always a bop. It's honestly quite inspiring. Like, Yoko Shimomura is like an absolute master at her craft. And my friend Dawn actually like met her uh, when she was still in Berkeley. That was so cool. If I'm not mistaken, she actually signed Dawn's um, Nintendo th DS. Was it DS or 3DS back then? <clears throat> I think it was 3DS. Yeah, that is so cool. I'm so happy for her. And actually, like, if I'm not mistaken, Yoko Shimomura composed, uh, actually composed, um, 
one of the original songs um, for a Hololive um, talent. Um, Suisse, I believe. You know, the blue ha the blue haired girl that's kind of like space comet themed. I forget the name of the song, but Zerx mentioned that to me and I was like, oh, cool. You mean Cycle Suisse? <laughs> Okay, and I noticed that like the 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 orca has caution uh, stick caution tape <laughs> around the around the lifesaver. So I'll add a few strips of tape. Anytime I see a character design with lots of tape on their body, I think of Sonic Boom and how they went crazy with the sports tape. <laughs> and I love the I love the fan art that came from the from originally revealing the character designs. Did you, did you know Yoko Shimomura first got her start at Capcom? I think I knew that. Yeah. They did Knuckles so dirty. <laughs> Knuckles is is actually pretty fun in the cartoon itself. Knuckles is the best character in the cartoon. Yeah, yeah. I can tell the like the, the 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 regular Sonic voice actors had a lot of fun with that show. Ah, is that correct? No, that's not correct. I need to move it up. Also, he has, um, he's got like two rings here on his tail. He's got piercings. <laughs> Your favorite bit about Sonic Boom was the joke about blast processing power. Oh, that's a good one. I like the one where like they're, they're, they're describing one of their favorite game series, which is like, like, like the Hippopotamus series or something. And like, the way that they're describing it is exactly the way that the fans like often compare like old school Sonic with modern Sonic. Okay. I also like the joke where, where, where like Sonic like says his middle like he says his he says something like like danger is my middle name and like Knuckles Knuckles is like I I thought your middle name was the <laughs> it was an octopus game series if you remember correctly okay. Is that good? I'm just being OCD at this point about this. Wait. Oopsie. Uh, I wanted that on the base. Okay. Uh, let's move this up a little bit, actually. It was a hippopotamus, they even made it appear as a character in that episode. Nice!
think that looking pretty nice. Uh, now I need the flipper. Which I'll add that on another layer. I'll just use a different color for now until I've got the shape down. is pretty close. I'll just make it a bit like wider up here. Yeah, I dig. And then he's got like a like an X X shape of bandages on his forehead. Which I'll grab the color for that right here. Alright, cool. Uh, let's get like a brighter color for like the inside part. Nice. And I do want to use like the brighter like gray color as a highlight. I know it's not present in the in the in the in the merch image, but I want, I want the shading to match with other character how it is in, on other characters. Uh, Tamarin Tilly, hi! Hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for stopping by. Wonderful, Spacey. Oh, thank you. You flatter me. Just listen to some bop and sonic music as I uh, draw some Hololive mascots for our Hololive fan game. Back pain from work, but you're, do you're doing good. Uh, I'm no stranger to back pain, so I do hope that it gets better soon. <laughs> yeah, I know that's right. Oh, Tamarin Chili, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Oh, 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 you have the pug dance emo. Let's go. That pug is my everything. I guess from here, um, I could dark also darken the bottom part of the lifesaver. Just like that. Yeah, that feels better. Um, I'm gonna do the same thing with uh, the belly. Just kind of like, hmm, okay, let's do this. You love pugs, especially the noises they make? Yeah. <laughs> Pugs aren't really my thing because it would break my heart too much for them to have the breathing problems that they do because of their snouts being so like compressed. To be fair, that also is a potential concern with Cavalier King Charles Spaniels, which of which I own two of them. Um, but I'd say like my 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 puppy snoots are are a good enough length that they shouldn't have issues with that most of the time. Okay, cool. Mm. 
nice. Uh, also, uh, wait, I should add a bit of shading to the eye now, too. I'll just round this out, just make it, I feel like it, like, works a little bit better that way. Uh, also, I'll move the highlight up so it looks like he's looking upwards. Uh, we want him to actually see where he's going, so maybe I need to widen the eye a little bit accordingly. Okay. Uh, also, I need to add the darker color here, I think. We'll do that to the bottom part of the lifesaver. There we go. I think that's looking pretty nice. Nice and round. <clears throat> so I guess after this, would the next step would be like seeing how Chloe would sit on the mascot. Um, well, first I have to flip them horizontally to match. Oops. Um... Let's just do this. Yes. Do this. Yes. Cool. Yeah, I do feel like the tail probably needs to be more horizontal to fit with the fact that it's going to be like swimming around. Uh, but first, I will save my work. And there we go. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna like switch switch up the tail. Is that a scar on the head? <clears throat> oh, those are- that's like a decorative bandages, as far as I could tell. C-Man, hi! Hope you're doing well. Oh. Round this out a little bit, I guess. Nice. <clears throat> Karuto, FOC99, thank you for the follow, I appreciate it. Hi! I'll be doing well. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. And I think that puts us in a pretty good position. Yeah, I think that's gonna work better. <laughs> uh, for like the, 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 like the main swimming animation. I guess all that's left is to see how Chloe is gonna sit on this, uh, on this fellow. I could put it on the same... <clears throat> oh, gospel, that's right! Um... I bet Xerx is gonna tell everybody in the team at some point. Because he's, like, the resident Ollie fan of the team. We actually have, like, three different, like, like, Ollie followers, I suppose. So let me see. I feel like what I want to do is add like another layer. And then I'll just use like a red like stick figure outline for now. Just to see what we want to do here. Okay, um... I feel like maybe the fin can be a bit shorter. Yeah, 
yeah, just, just by pixel. Yeah, that is true gospel. Ollie does readily lend her voice to fan projects. Which is so cool. So let's pretend that this is Chloe. Uh, I might have to get rid of the life jacket to make this work. Unless I like move it back a little bit. Like maybe right here, and then it kind of acts as like a seat for her to lean on. Because, like, I guess, no. This is gonna be tricky. Alright, move this up like this for now. So I bet the legs are gonna be like like this. And then it goes like this. Uh, and then she can kind of like hold on to the fin. That could work. Okay. Um now let me start, whoopsie, let me start blocking out like a <clears throat> more defined shape for this. Now this is probably where her sleeve would begin. And then she's got like a, like a, like, like a hoodie right here. And like her hood kind of like, like flops downwards like this. It's got like kind of a dress shape, I guess. Oh, let's do a more different color for now. Let's put this right here. Give a nice, some nice definition to the thigh and leg. And then she's got like these big, like platform boots. Something like that. Uh, but the silhouette doesn't quite isn't quite there yet. I want to get a good silhouette before I start like blocking in all the extra details. Let me pull up a reference on my secondary monitor of what her outfit looks like. Let's see. Up, up, up. Uh, Chloe, 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 Chloe. I have references of almost everybody that appears in the game, thankfully. Okay, let's see. Okay, so that's what it kind of looks like from the side. I'm gonna flip the canvas. The whole canvas, please. There we go. It's pretty... I was pretty close. I just need to bring the, the, the hood down more in the back. Yeah, something like that, I guess. So let's start filling in the basic colors here. Uh, she's got like some hair going here. But the 
this here. Nice. Not sure if I wanted to be that far <clears throat> back. I want to turn her head a little bit this way. Okay, that's a little better. this part right here. Okay. Uh, now we've got a bit <clears throat> a bit of a bare shoulder here. part of her coat that goes like back this way. Uh, yeah, I got this nice gray color here. <clears throat> and then she's got like a big belt here. Nope, I want white. Okay. No, I think actually that's peach. Uh, okay. Okay, so if this is her shoulder up here, then I need to move the arm. Let's see, how, I, how would I do this? Okay, so her arm still kind of goes down there that way. Oh, thank you for head pats. Oh, that's so nice. Okay, yeah, this works. <clears throat> How am I going to differentiate this from the orca? I guess I could just add the under lighting like this. Like on the very end, like she's got like the dark red, <clears throat> like sleeve tip, I guess. She's got finger gloves. <clears throat> and the rest is just trench coat. Right here. And then she's got, um, <clears throat> let's see. Something like that, I guess. I hear, I hear barking. And then she's got these really cool platform shoes. They go up a little bit more. It's really difficult to make this stand out without the outlines. <clears throat> Alright, I'm missing the bow. I want that.
Girl, I've heard of that game. Blue regard too. Hi. Thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Love the art. Will gonna head out. We'll be going out to eat. Just stopping by. Yeah, no problem. I'm just gonna move this over here and I realized because of this that I made the head too small. I'll just grow that. Make it like that, I guess. What the dog doing? I'm sure it's fine. Okay, Sammy's howling. Maybe I should check it real quick. Okay. I'll be back in a minute. Uh, but Spacey Batotelli will return after the break. I'm back, and I'm a bat, and it was nothing. <laughs> so, so I think maybe the 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 cause uh, is because of the fact that Mama Spacey and I rearranged the living room. <laughs> there, in the window that they usually bark out of, <clears throat> there usually was a, um like a small little table with plants on it that kind of obstructed some of their view of the outside. So, with that gone, they kind of have free reign to just sit there all the time and make noise at the sight of of the slightest like movement <laughs> why are you so bad yeah why are you so bad sammy transfer like this hair over too. The only question mark I have is I don't know if I want it to be like fully <clears throat> uh, 
completely facing to the side. Um, because I feel like Chloe on the Orca is the player's first encounter with her, so it needs a strong silhouette. Okay, so... But we'll see how it feels first. Yummy! Hi! Ah, a little bat told me that you got YouTube partner. Congrats on that. <clears throat> Thanks for the raid love yesterday. Yeah, no problem. this here. Uh, I've got a little bit of tape here that I could add. Uh -oh. Ah, whale 52 blue. Hi. Thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. And thank you for gifting a subby to Yomi Rob. Rob gifted a tier one sub to Yomi Quinley. They have given 136 gift subs in the channel. Da -da -da. Ba -ba 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 -da -ba. Hmm. This is a bit tricky. I almost kind of want to tilt the body a little bit. Just move this out of the way first. How, how does that actually compare proportion wise? I was close. Well, I feel like ultimately, um, I think like the legs need to be a little bit longer, I think. Try that first. And yeah, I'll try the perspective thing. So that would involve um, actually making some of this visible. Tilt it like that. Tilt it like that, and then move it over like this. I don't know, it's a starting point. down here. And I notice we have like a belt. A belt on the loose. Let's see what it looks like with her head just like normal instead of facing uh, to the side. It almost works. Yeah, 
Yeah, almost. Find a better place for her to grab onto, I guess. Looking solid? No oh, thanks. Yeah, let me move the hand down here. And we'll go this way with it. up here, I guess. Oh, maybe I could do this, actually. And I have the other hand poke out right here. <laughs> yeah, this kind of works. So far. I still would like to make the silhouette a bit stronger, though. But it's kind of difficult when the mascot, the mascot shares the same color palette. Okay, I'm gonna move this out of the way here. Hmm. Okay, let me move this down here. Just so the leg feels connected. Like this, maybe? Okay, let's flip the canvas again. That's an improvement. I think I just need to rotate um, the lifesaver, so that that's not straight on anymore. Okay, so I'll put that down here. Hmm, how would I round this out? Take a bit 3D depth. I guess like this. work. So I kind of like Round out these corners here. Oh, cyberspace not high. We kind of have it come this way. draw this. I guess I could do this. Yeah, that's a little better. Okay. Ba 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 ba. 
I mean, I could give it, like, I could tilt it a little more on top of that, maybe. Because I'm thinking, like, the shape uh, that I'm looking for is more, like, um, more donut-like. That's actually pretty good. I'm surprised I got that the first try. Yeah, something like that. To be fair, uh, Ace Sprite has actually a really cool tool that will let you make like curves, like line curves. I keep forgetting about, about um, its existence until after I have painstakingly like manually hand drawn it. But it's cool that they have that feature. But yeah, it would be something like this. Um, I'll put this here. Maybe this would be like this. Da, ba, 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 ba. We'll do something like this. And let's see how that would feel. Uh, I better move this down here. And my repository of spare pieces. Ah! Thank you for having Pat's heal me. Ah, oh, so nice. Okay, so it'd be kind of like, like this. Uh, how tall is this compared to before? It's the same height. So we have something like this. And then I will... This down here. Well, da -da, da -da -da. okay. Up, Samuel. Samuel's back at it. Back at it again with the barkies. Something like that. And then we have the fin. Which I could probably move down th this way, just so it's a there's a little bit of overlap. Nice. Could actually maybe move the flipper in front of Chloe's uh, boot like that. Nice. Add a bit of shadow there. I think it looks pretty nice. And then I can move the bandage over a little bit too, um, to give that, uh, to, to further, like, reinforce the new perspective. Oops. Oh my gosh, that's a cool idea, Health Sword. What the dog doing? 
Care combo. All right, I'll do care combo, uh, Rob. I'll take sippy and stretchy. I like the juxtap juxtaposition between me, like, relaxing with the care combo, doing peaceful sippies and stretchies, and the dogs are going absolutely nuts in the background. E. E. <laughs> oh. oh my gosh. Mm. Okay. Cool stuff. Yeah, it, she looks pretty good, I guess. Oh, what layer is she on? Okay, that one. Why, why, why won't let me draw? What what color is that? Is that like a like a blank? I guess it's a blank. Okay. So I guess that's like that. Okay, so this will probably work for our purposes. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, maybe like just so the player sees what she looks like first. Maybe she could just like swipe it on foot and then hop on the orca and then like swim away. Of course, in order to get that far, I need to give her like a running animation and a jumping animation. A while since I did one. Um, <clears throat> there is one other character that I did want to work on uh, potentially today, uh, and that's Gargura, who appears in Atlantis. Um, of course, in Atlantis, uh, she can swim around, so she will be our first NPC uh, who has like a proper swimming animation. <laughs> so yeah, we have a couple of choices. Um, I could show you my process for, um, for making running animations. So in order to do that, I have a handy dandy file, uh, that has kind of a template for the running animation that I use. This one. So I basically, like, broke down, like, the character into all of their, like, basic pieces. Head, arms, body, front leg, and back leg. So, it's a 10 frame run. And I did use this as a guide for a few other NPC characters that have a similar running animation. Um, I usually, like my personal preference, is to start with uh, one of the legs. In this case, I'll do the front leg. And then I just, like, fill in the colors and the details based on which character I'm working on. So let's give that a shot, shall we? So the dominant color in Chloe's legs are like the stocking color. Uh, so I will go ahead and fill that in. Uh, I'll, I'll start with just the first frame for now. Okay, so we got the bottom. The bottom part. And I don't think her foot is this long, so I'll narrow it a bit. Okay, cool. Darken this, darken that. How tall is this? I think it's a decent height. Uh. Something like this, I guess.
and her legs are narrower, so I definitely needed to fix that. Something like that, I guess. But we'll leave this part up here dark just for... Okay, yeah, that's kind of accurate, I think. Yeah, something like that. And this part kind of like... <clears throat> fluffs out like that, I guess. Huh? What kind of species bat are you? Uh, I am a long-eared bat. <laughs> I'm not a hunter and white bat because the hunter and white bats have like the big yellow nose. And they have, they tend to have yellow as the dominant thing in their, uh, in their, in their color palette. But yeah, I'm a long-eared bat. Uh, yeah, they're so cute. I love battles with the big ears. <laughs> There's kind of a meme in the bat VTubing community <clears throat> where it's like a chart of different kinds of bats and it goes like, it has two different axes. And like, uh, I, I, I need to see if I can find it. Let's see, bat chart. Where is it? I found it! I found it! Let's see! <laughs> let's, let's go! Okay, hold on. Huh. I'm gonna put this in pictures. Come on! Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Uh -uh. That chart. Where'd I put it? Oh, wait, wait, wait. It scrolls me. Okay, so... It was a Tumblr post. And the Tumblr post says, I've decided that all bats fall, fall somewhere on this horrid little graph I've devised. Here are some prime examples of the various creature varieties found in nature. <laughs> so... <laughs> the vertical axis is... <laughs> I think that's the size of the bat. So you got El Wee Wee on, on one end, and, 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 and that's such a funny word, I can't hear it hurgling, hurgling. <laughs> so El Wee Wee in here hurgling. And, And, and then the horizontal axis is how much it resembles a dog. So on one end you have hi doggy, and then on the other end you have those ferret too. <laughs> so so I I am I am closer to bottom right. So I'm like a wee wee doggy. <laughs> so so like right here in this this one the most closer resembles me. And uh, a, a hunter and white bat would be like bottom left, so it'd be have the no spirit to uh, vibe to it. <laughs> El wee wee, hear it hurgling. <laughs> yeah, oh my gosh, I love that. <laughs> I love that word, El wee wee. To describe something that's very tiny and precious. <laughs> what kind of species is the one top center? The 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 Hergel dog ferret too. Hippie sloth! Hi! Thank you so much for the follow, I appreciate it. Hope you're doing well. Top right looks like the bat equivalent of a pug. It does! Doesn't it? It is it is on the doggy tier. So it's a it's a Hergel doggy. Yeah, exactly. I drive saying all wee wee is like saying little crew, little baby, baby boy, little man. <laughs> but yes, I love this chart. I, I subscribe to it.
very much. But yeah, this chart has become like a like a like a like a like a holy relic in the bat VTuber community. <laughs> Yes, it's a bat approved bat chart. <laughs> Hear it hurgling. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, I'm gonna fill it in with this color. The nice thing about doing just one leg first is that you can just copy that leg and offset it by half. Um, of the frame count, and you, the, and then boom, you've got both legs, and that's like half of um, the character done in terms of their running animation because the anime characters are like half leg anyway. <laughs> Your bat OC on the Shang on Shangwu Architect is a hurgling doggy, yeah. Hurgle, hurgle, doge, hurgle, doge. <laughs> okay, put this here. Just gonna do the basic <clears throat> colors. And then after that, I will <laughs> fine tune like the scale of everything to better match uh, Chloe. Peak Mega Man. <coughs> Too bad it's only on the Saturn version. Oh, thank you for care combo. <laughs> I kind of need a sippy after all that laughing. Mm. Oh my goodness. Ah, good stuff. And we do stretchy. In this house, we stretch. Oh, <clears throat> oh hi, Dark Moon. You're in the bathroom. What'd you miss? Uh, you missed me showing the bat chart. <clears throat> that is like a meme in, among bat VTubers. I'll show it again real quick for you. That one. <laughs> <clears throat> and we have, um, well, I have decided that I am in the bottom right corner of this chart. I am, I am an, an El Wee Wee Doggy. I could possibly be bottom center. Because <clears throat> I'm not really that, like, I don't really look that dog-like, I guess. I guess, like, like some species of dogs that have, um, that have really big ears, maybe. Ba -ba -ba. I'm getting a DM, hold on. Okay, cool. <clears throat> It's all set. That chart. Okay, I can do this and this. Maybe like this, I guess. I know Dark Moon. Uh, like I was, I was dying when I when I showed Chat the first time. Like both Elwee Wee and Hergling. 
<laughs> are such funny words. Uh. My side, there's nothing I don't know, there's nothing to decide. this right here. here. Okay, wrong direction. Let's go up here. Okay, now we shape the legs. <clears throat> I guess that's fine. I think we only really need to shade the bottom leg because the top half is uh <clears throat> of the leg is being like obs um like obscured by the skirt on her coat. Um Okay, yeah, it gets it's like two pixels thick on the end here. Da, da, da. 
Well, I, I need to do like a, a, a big, a big hurgle, I should say. <laughs> Hold on, I'll just meet you real quick. Oh, that was very nasty. I'm glad I muted that. I was still thinking about <clears throat> what I could play next week in terms of continuing various series. <clears throat> really curious about the, the Wii version of Unleashed. I'm also curious to... <clears throat> I'm thinking maybe I could just bite the bullet and play Dreamland 3 by myself. I've been kind of holding off because uh, I have fond memories of playing it co-op. <clears throat> Oh, you made another character portrait? Nice! How did I find out about my water being sussy again? <clears throat> oh, um... It's just cause, like... <clears throat> I've been, like, I was having back issues after after a while, um, up drinking distilled water, so I asked Mama Spacey about it. And that's how we kind of find I found out that it has no, um, nutritional value. <laughs> You heard some people say the Wii version is more fun, and you're confused by that. <clears throat> yeah, like, yeah, I haven't heard <clears throat> the best things about the Wii version, other than the fact that it gets rid of the metal requirements. Uh, <clears throat> but due to technical limitations, that's that's what I'm stuck with for now. And, like, <clears throat> from what I played in the 360, ver 360 version of Unleashed, um, <clears throat> I personally didn't really enjoy it, so I'm not sure that the Wii version is going to change my mind. But I figured I'd give it, like, one more chance before I move on to Sonic Colors. <clears throat> oh, Saturn, thank you. I'll take another sippy. second. Wait. I think Colors is the next one in line, if I'm not mistaken. I guess. <clears throat> yeah, my, I'm okay, Saturn. My throat's doing good. I just have to make sure to chug water. <clears throat> Get some cough drops. I keep forgetting. All right, I'm gonna text Mama Spacey right now because she is planning to go to the store uh, after work. <clears throat> okay. Um. Oh, also, do we have cough drops? <clears throat> I'll ask her if we have some first, just in case she does. <clears throat> okay. 
Okay, so... Alright, there's one leg. <coughs> Just like that. Uh, and for the back leg... <coughs> uh, let's see, how much is it offset by? So this is a coordinate of 42. It says a coordinate of 36. Okay, six pix six pix pixels. So I'm going. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the first half <coughs> of the front leg, put it in the second half of the back leg, and vice versa for the other half. And now I'm going to select them all in the back leg. I'm going to drag them forward by one, two, three, four, five, six pixels, <coughs> and just like that, you have both legs. Ba, 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 ba. And I'm going to save my work. Uh, hold on. <clears throat> I need to create a new file for this. Yeah, nice legs animation. Thank you. Okay, characters, Chloe. So, Chloe underscore run <clears throat> so now what I usually continue with is the body <clears throat> and the body should be pretty simple especially since we already have kind of a sprite where she's leaning forward <clears throat> like right here mm. so I'm gonna go ahead and copy this I might need to do some physics stuff with her belts and her skirt since it's so long. <clears throat> but I will worry about that later. <clears throat> I'm just gonna remove the remove the legs and the arms. <clears throat> Um, <clears throat> I think I'll move the skirt part back more. <clears throat> I received. It's not a text. Okay, never mind. What is that? For some reason, Discord is not working. Oh, there it is. <clears throat> oh, sweet! Neon Cryptid uh, finished that one song that I that I showed you the other day for Ducky Got Arcade. I'm sure he'll be fine with sharing the final version. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and download this. <clears throat> Discord's been blacking out today for you too. Oh, dang it! Alright, let's see if this has been downloaded yet. It has. It has, it has, it has. <clears throat> so I'm gonna go ahead and maximize the volume and then try this. Check this out. This is for our game, <laughs> for Chrono Gear. But 
the specific one of um one of Neon Cryptid's inspirations for this track was Collision Chaos from Sonic CD. Yeah, it's the Corona song. Quite familiar, nice. Oh my gosh, what a bop. I love it. <clears throat> okay. Once Discord actually comes back, I will let him know. Oh, this is so cool. Uh, how does that set up? Okay. Let me move this down. Okay, so <clears throat> move this up. Goes two up, and then one down. Okay, so that's the basic motion. So what we want to do is we want to like move the shoulders back and forth. Uh, but for, before that, I do that, I want to add some motion to the claw. And I think it might be a good idea to actually um, move this like bottom part um, underneath. Maybe. Okay, yeah. Or I could just like draw the leg over the body, over the over it, yeah, like this. And how does that look? Uh, it goes like all the way up there, yeah. Ah, thank you for care combo! Okay, hold on, I'll take being stretchy. Bonk. Mmm, <coughs> good stuff. Nice. All right, stretchy time. Oh. Ah, good stuff. <laughs> All right, this is the part where, like, she's got like. 
it's it's where the stockings end, and she's just got the skin. I think. <clears throat> yeah. There we go. Good. Yeah, at this part I'm just like kind of feeling out <clears throat> what specifically I need to do to make the body like feel like it's got like following the same motion as the legs. What kind of motion do I want <coughs> in the belts? I guess I'm just gonna have to improvise. I'll just like. Mm. Okay, so at this part, I think we would go like, uh. Like that. Maybe. Well, thank you again for care combo. I just took stretchy, but I'll take zippy. Mm. Ah, good stuff. <clears throat> uh, let's move this up a little bit. We'll keep the belt up here so it isn't like bunnying up the detail in the boot. And because of that, did I keep this throughout? Okay. So from here, we need to try to move this down a little bit. Part of, a part of making like really like good smooth animations is recognizing when there are certain parts in the body that you really should be like redrawing from scratch. <clears throat> it can be it can be tough to bite the bullet, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do to get the results that you want. Okay, I 
think that looks pretty good for that belt. So now I need to add a similar motion uh, to uh, the bottom part of the coat. Just erase this part. Okay, uh. Okay, what's that like? Uh. Move this down here. Okay, that's. I think that's enough. Now I can kind of need to mirror that motion <clears throat> um, on the opposite side. I can kind of fudge it over here, I guess, with some skewing, some like manual skewing like this, I guess. E. Skewing. this. Yeah, that's fine. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to duplicate this over here. that stray right here <clears throat> okay that's fine um so now i want to uh move the shoulders over to kind of mimic the motion of the body like twisting and turning in one direction Same thing once again. And I'll push it over even more. I think I need to twist the bottom part too. At least make the coat kind of like cover it a little bit more with each step. Yeah. 
There we go. Nice. Okay, Mama Spacey has replied. Uh, she says, "All oh, right, I have that cough syrup." I feel like I need to like rebottle that into a more like accessible form. So it does take some effort to kind of like twist the cap off. And she's she also says honey works. All right, so I feel like that's something that I need to prepare um, before my streams, and then hopefully that should help. Okay. Uh, move this part over here. This way, this way. Yeah, I think that feels pretty nice. So now we just... Do this. that way and this way we go like this basically like like just like going taking the same motion but doing it in the opposite direction okay I think that's good enough Yeah, let's see how that feels. Yeah. It's gonna look it's gonna look way better with the arms in place. Oh lockdown, hi! Hope you're doing well. Do be careful with cough syrup. It got it has alcohol and you found that out right before going to donate blood years ago. Oh my goodness. Okay, yeah, I will I will endeavor to keep that in mind, thank you. Now, at this point, we could uh, do either the arms or the head. Either one works, I think. Um, but I will go ahead and do the arms next. So I think this case is going to be pretty similar um, to how we handle the, le the legs, where we're just going to fill in um, the template with color. And I think this arm motion suits her. So I don't really think I need to change that. I'll I just need to make the, the, the arms a bit longer to match. And how does it um, look in terms of matching her height? I'm going to compare heights. Okay, I think that I think I made the torso uh, too high up. So I'm going to move this down a couple times. Okay, so from here, I will fix this part.
Oh, I see what I did wrong here. Gotta go this way. I didn't know cough syrup had alcohol either. That's a very interesting factoid. There we go. So now we pivot back to the arms. And the dominant color in the arms I noticed is just the black. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Well. Oh, Mom's facey. She's gonna get that that really cool like fish fry that is every Friday. <clears throat> No fish and two shrimp, I think. I, we're gonna, I, I want to try the shrimp dinner this time. Okay. Yeah! Shrimp fry, my beloved. Tempest Mask! Hi! Welcome on in! Just doing some chill drawing. And she's got finger gloves. <laughs> Which can be pretty tricky to draw uh, if, you, if you're not used to it. But if you are, it can, it can save you a bit of work. Getting the hand shape right, because like there's so much contrast between the color of the fingers and the gloves themselves. put in a bit of work here. It is a meticulous process, but the results will be worth it. Use some gravity circuit, yeah. Okay, uh, we're getting there. gonna look kind of different from her standing sprite, but I can always refine it later. Ah, 
Ah, boop the bat. Thank you. Thank you for having patties. Here we go. Okay, uh... Let me just keep the shape of the hand here so I don't have to draw it again. Whoopsie. No, 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 no. Okay. my keyboard inputs. What the? Uh. What the? Come on. Why? Why is that? Why can I not draw all of a sudden? I can copy and paste, but I can't draw. What? What is this? Maybe the no? There you go. No, I just press uh, some button on a keyboard and it inadvertently was a shortcut to another option, I guess. is the same. Her arms are actually pretty long. So I might have to fix that once I'm done with the drafting this out. No. There we go. This way, I guess. But this right here. Your your guess is that you pr I pressed one of the custom brush keys, and since I didn't have any custom brushes saved, it didn't let me paint. 
That's what the pattern line thing was. Oh, okay. Yeah, like... I kind of hate when that happens in any pro in any program that I use where I accidentally press a shortcut key and it kind of like disables something or changes something and I don't know what I did or how to change it back. But thankfully that the few times that I truly genuinely got stuck with that um, sort of problem, uh, I was able to look up other people who experienced the same thing on accident. Well, okay. Oh, this looks weird. I'm gonna bring this over here. Way. Buh. Okay. This way. No, 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 I don't want. I keep doing it. Keep pressing shortcut buttons to that keep like flipping windows and stuff. Cuts that become long cuts. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's a good way of putting it. Okay, that's the draft of the arms. So other than the head, we got ourselves a pretty convincing run animation. Well, of course the head is the last, th the last step. And you can kind of see from the eyes how I position it. But for Chloe specifically, I do want to move this forward. That's better.
Okay, so let's grab this. And, um... The fact that she's got the mask will make it a bit easier to position the eyes, too. Okay, so this is where, it, yeah, this is where it was aligned. But we kind of want to go like this, I guess. So now I kind of have to give, like, the appearance that the head is turning. Um, which I can kind of do just by squishing, like, the right side, the side of the head here. So that the eye that's furthest from the camera, um, is, like, one pixel, pixel smaller. Like that. And then to compensate, I will make the left side of her hood, uh, two pixels wider, I think. Something like that, I guess. Yeah, I get in there. Uh, I want to compress this side of her hood, too. Yeah! There we go. See how 3D that looks? The head turning. Nice! I'm gonna move this eye up a little bit. That pixel drawing looks fresh. Ah, oh, thank you. And we'll make it a little... I think we could make it a little bit more subtle this time. So just do this. And then, like, bring it forward by, like, one pixel. Also, I want to change the lighting a little bit to come this way because the lighting source is not changing just the rotation of the head this a little bit. Okay, move this way, this way. Yeah, that's good enough for me. adjust the arms later because they do feel too short in some of the angles. Like that? Okay. Okay, I don't have it structured here. Same way. Okay. Nice. So this, for this, uh, basically going to do the opposite. Uh, I don't think. Let's see. Because the bow's coming this way, so I guess what I could do is I could just like move this part of the head over a little bit. Uh, 
Put this over here. Well. Bring this like this. Yeah, okay. I'm taking it. I just need to fix this part of the bow. To like be over here instead. Yeah. Heck yeah. And honestly, I don't think it needs like another... Another angle past that. We can just roll with, the, roll with that. arms um, later during my spare time. Nice! Oh, a dragon... Uh, cat man. Bye. Hope you're doing well. Thank you for the lurk. Uh, but yeah, there's a there's a few things I can do to improve this, but like for, for an NPC who's running animation, you're likely only to see like two or three times in the entire game. Uh, this is pretty phenomenal. I'm happy with it. So we are gonna uh, export this as a sprite sheet. Uh, bah, bah, bah. Chloe run. She run. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I think that's the fastest I've ever put together a running animation for, for one of our characters. And I think I have the template to, to thank for that. Um, okay, so let's do something a bit more complicated. Um, see, we've got her orca. We could do the orca swimming animation. Um, I could also do Gura's, like, swimming animations. Let me come up with a pose for Gura. When, like, she's just, like, <clears throat> floating in place uh, underwater. Because the main environment that we see her in is in Depths of Atlantis. And, like, she is, like, swimming, swimming around there. And I think, uh, I mean, I could use Crony's swimming animations as a reference, but like, Gura is like a natural born swimmer, so I th imagine that hers would be like a bit different. Because, like, for. Oh, thank you for heading pats and care combo. I'll, I'll take Soupy after this explanation. Oh. Okay, where's my swimming animation for Crony? Uh. Uh, da 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 da. Okay, here it is. Yeah, Crony just has like an animation where she kind of like kicks her legs forward. I also experimented with making her troll in the water, but I don't really like how it feels in game. So in game, uh, what actually happens um, is that like I just use this frame and none of the other ones. I could maybe like have like this frame as a lead in. Let me, let me experiment with that. Hold on a second. Uh, we're gonna go to good good old good old good old. Where's 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 my? Okay. Okay, I'm gonna zoom in here. Da, 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 da. That's too far. I'll just do this. Okay. Okay. Where's her swim dash? There it is. So I'm gonna bring in another sprite frame uh, from that. Okay, crony swim. Where is it? There it is. Okay, I'll bring these two in. I think that should be enough. Uh, kind of. Oh, burp. Nah, I'll just use the one frame. And that should make it feel a bit smoother, I think. Let's, let's, uh... See how it feels. 
It's a lengthy animation list. I know, right? This is why making alternate outfits for characters is so much more difficult in a 2D pixel art game than it is for uh, 3D games. Because in a 3D game, all you have to do is swap that, the model and then you're done. But Crony has all of these animations that would need bespoke sprites if we wanted to add another outfit. <laughs> oh my goodness. Gosh, I can't believe how complex. How many sprites she ended up with. But to be fair, she is the only player character, whereas in other games that I've worked on, um, they tend to have like multiple characters. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and see how that feels in game. E. 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 Peabird, hi. Hope you're doing well. It looks all right, I guess. But yeah, I, I only blocked out like a lot of this is just like like just blocked out stuff. I haven't added detail yet. But like I did add a system for adding like reverse water areas where I put a water area down like this part right here is technically a water area, but I set a flag to invert it. So now we have dry areas in an all underwater environment. Yeah, and that's the the bubble block I was talking about earlier. And you can't change your direction once you enter it. So you kind of have to line up your shot beforehand. It's very fun to, to once you get used to how it functions. Yeah, yeah, Alfie, that's actually kind of how this works. Like the entire level is contained within a big um, water area. And then these dry areas are inside the water area. So you can, there's some pockets like of, of air that you can jump into, or we can like swim into uh, the area underneath. Yeah, I just need to fill this area out with other things to do besides swim around. Although I must admit that having nothing else here kind of like adds to the creepy like under construction vibe. Well, definitely once we enter, we want to have other things. <laughs> that feels so satisfying. Yeah. You enter and just all of a sudden you're in land. Burp, burp. Yeah, in this part, I feel like the player is still trying to get used to how to line their sh uh, shot up. So I don't think I'll have any enemies here. I think I need to lower the, the height of that. Because um, right now you kind of need a chronicopter to get up there. The Trident Lanterns look so good in game. Oh, yes, they do, Edge Drive. Oh, okay. Go up here. Oh, yeah. Um, Carol finished the air, the air slash, too. And something else that I did is I separated the sword lines uh, from from the crony's base sprite. So that way, when you're under haste, the, the silhouette doesn't have the sword lines. That that makes it a lot easier to tell um, when you're like hacking away enemies under haste. Also, under haste, I turned um, like before this, uh, you always did the spinny attack. But now it's like a three hit combo starting with the spinny to add a little bit more variety. Oh yeah, there's this part. That was just like a vertical ascent. But I'm thinking like right here, there'd be like a locked door and you need to like go up here and flip a switch. But for now you can just pass through. And this part would be really cool. It's basically like where the the bubble zones right up here kind of act, give you like a triple jump almost. So it'd be like a vertical ascent up like a main like temple hall. But yeah, just from just from exploring around and there's no enemies or other gimmicks yet and the level is already almost four minutes long. So it's like, uh, I hope people enjoy it. 
I mean, I'm not too worried about having really long levels in the game as long as there's enough variety to justify it. Yeah, fitting song. <laughs> yeah, and and I will say like this this level is one of the other levels that Wonder Riku is going to compose a song for. Uh, because Wonder Riku is did uh, actually um, compose one of Gargura's songs uh, in Hollow Life officially, so that uh, it'd be really it'd be pretty cool to have. We figured it'd be pretty cool to have him like remix her song for this level, and I'm really curious to see what kind of vibe he'll go for based on gameplay footage. Um, so that is gonna be cool. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of how we got the swim. Um, for Crony, uh, for Gura, uh, I, I would want it to be a little bit more complex because she's got like the shark tail and maybe, maybe we could have like a sine wave like pattern to her swimming. But there, she does need a standing sprite for swimming. Uh, I was thinking maybe in her standing sprite she could be like kicking her legs back and forth. That seems like a Gura thing to do. So I'm going to go ahead and experiment. Uh, she could actually have maybe, could she have the same pose while just kicking her legs back and forth? Maybe. So I'll do this. Nope. Can I do this? And then she'd have her trident, uh, which is like, like that, I guess. Sine wave like a whale dolphin, yeah, I suppose. Slayers, thank you for having pets. Uh, question, uh, ask Joker if you're gonna work on adding concept art for your fan game documentation. Should you just add sprites for Easter eggs as normal or kind of s what? I don't understand. What do you mean normal or kind of silver? Yeah, I'm doing keyframes, Slayer. Well, let's see what's like what it feels like to have both of her arms down, actually. Uh, something like that, and then she's got the short tail. And then for her swimming, um... Essentially... Okay, so she'd have the, her body here and then be like, like that. And I'm guessing like her shoulders would be right here and she'd kind of be holding her trident like this. And this is where her short tail would be. And her legs would just kind of follow this. Basically, you plan to put Easter eggs for Sega Genesis characters as statues you can find in levels. Oh, okay, I get you. Ah! Violet, hi! Hope you're doing well. Okay. So a nice thing about having with her having that huge like oversized hoodie is that that will make it easy to silhouette stuff here. Cause all we gotta do is just sad triangle. Just making a note that like her arm should be like right here, and then she's got like a like a hood.
Yeah, apparently her preference is to not wear the hood to, like, keep it down. So that's what we did for her sprite. Okay, so we're just gonna fill in the silhouette. Oh, d thank singing for care combo. Oh, I'm out of water. Uh, okay, I'll be able to refill my water and take a stretchy there as well. So, I'll be back in a couple minutes. Mm -hmm. Spacey Batotelli will return after the break. I'm back, and I'm a bat. Thank you for your patience. I am full up on water now. Okay, so <laughs> I let Semi and Paige out because they were kind of like running in circles, uh, wanting to go outside. 
I let them out, thinking that they really had to go potty. But <laughs> once they went outside, they just, like, sat there in the pouring rain and stared at me. And I'm like, what are you doing? It's, you're gonna be soaking wet. It's not time to dilly-dally. You, 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 do you even have to do your business? So I had to, I had to insist that they come back inside. I was like, Sam, come. Paige, come. <laughs> and they begrudgingly accepted. Ah, uh, Belly ZYTZ, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Hi. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I'm Spacey Bethelteli. I'm a gadgeteer bat and a game developer. And today I'm doing pixel art. There. <laughs> yeah, I guess so, Gospel. They were contemplating their life choices of doing business in the rain. Ah, Spacey Batotelli, the self described El Wee Wee Bat. Okay, she's got the hood. So I'll put that there. And she's got, like, the big sleeve. Oh my goodness. Short. It's nice to see Gargora streaming again. I know she was dealing with like unspecified like um personal life stuff for a while. I also feel like maybe like she got she's just like stressed out from the pressure of being the most subscribed to uh VTuber like on, on all of YouTube. But lately she's been doing like more collab streams and stuff and she most recently played Monster Hunter, which is something I wanna play too. I wanna I wanna add my that's to my two playlist. Maybe I could run a poll um on the Discord server if I could figure out how to do polls there. See what people would like to see me play next week. Could do Kirby, could do Sonic, could do Ratchet and Clank, could do Monster Hunter. Oh, let me join you for hunts? Oh, that's true. If I play Monster Hunter World, then viewers can join in. But I kind of need to learn how to play on my own first, I think, before I invite people. Yeah, I'm not sure if Discord naturally has, like, a poll option. Okay, I'm just gonna bring... I'm just going to bring the top half of her body in. Yeah, something like that, I guess. Oh, Discord just recently added polls? Let's go! That's cool. Hmm. Did I make the, the, the coat long enough, maybe? Okay.
Okay, cool. Oh, okay, I can copy the rest of the hoodie, I think. Down here. this up a little bit. There you go. Okay, let's grab the color for this for the shark tail. Translate this to her swimming animation, I wonder. Carney has this front facing sprite, so maybe I could use the same head, but just like turn it very slightly. Kind of like what we did with Chloe. We're not going down, we're going this way. The neck. But since her hair is so poofy, we don't really have to worry about drawing the neck in the first place. Okay, move this over here. She's got kind of the hoodie there. Uh, I think the inside of the hoodie is white. So it'd be like something like that. And then she's got like her shoulder here, I guess. up here. And the hoodie tassels right here, I guess. Like that. Okay, 
Yeah, I'll move that there. lopsided. I'm going to have to play around with that a bit more. Maybe if I tilt it like this way, I guess. I think it's because it's like we're supposed to have a kicking motion, so maybe this like needs to be completely up. Ah, uh, Shade Borderlands, hi! Hope you're doing well, thank you for the follow, I appreciate it. Womp womp. Yeah, so I guess we could like move the leg this way. Blank. I dig that. I dig it. Well, it's a little better. I might need to make everything bigger. I've noticed with the sprites in this game in particular, I have a habit of making um, the body like too small initially and then I have to make it larger <laughs> to match the base sprite. And the more it happens, the more I'm able to kind of like catch myself ahead of time before I actually finish the animation I'm working on. Oh, it doesn't have that, Luigi? I wouldn't know because I haven't played on consoles yet. Um, but yeah, um, they're working on getting version 1.2.8R into um, the consoles, which I believe is the most uh, the latest version on, on uh, PC. Have you tried starting with the torso and drawing silhouettes? That's not a bad idea. I can give that a try sometime. Okay. Well, I do think that's a nice, like, swimming sprite to use as a base, and then I just could just have her, like, move her legs a little bit. bring the shoe in. Kind of. You typically start drawings with the torso as it conveys the motion and then the limbs accentuate it. Yeah, that's a good idea. Like everyone has their own style that works for them. But I'm always open to trying new things. Especially if it helps streamline the process of touching it up later. Okay, so I guess at this point we need to have the white part of the hoodie. Let's change the color on this. I 
things. Okay, shark tail. Well. Oh yeah, crit, that bug should be fixed in the most recent PC version, so it'll come to console soon. At least it's not a detrimental bug. <laughs> Yeah, Luigi, I know they're com they they feel complete, but they don't work with the game's level design is the thing. Because their gameplay is so different, and on top of that, we also would have had to give them unique cutscenes. So those were the main reasons why we decided to focus on the sequel instead of trying to like make that work and getting like unsatisfactory results in the process. It does fix it for Spade, but again, he uh, does not follow the same path for the story as the other girls, so he would have needed a completely different set of levels. And like, we were not up for making another game in the Quick Team Fusion engine. But I am thankful for Lily's work in making him actually like a fun character to use in that fan game. Sometimes you gotta make tough calls. darker, so... this upwards. I think maybe that's what's bothering me. I don't consider Hedgehog Lilac to be a separate character. They're the same. I just didn't want the Hedgehog Association, so that's why I suggested that she become a dragon. Pretty good base spread, I guess. Uh, I just need to figure out what to do with the hands and the trident. Maybe I can put the trident on a separate layer. 
So that way uh, we'll focus just on the swimming motion and not have to worry about how that works. At least not yet. Yeah, another reason was to avoid, like, any, like, legal issues. Well. So then we, I guess we kind of have her hand here and then it would grip the trident. We could get a nice, like, swimming motion there, I bet. We just gotta put in the legwork to make it look decent. I wonder if that's too... If the tail's too long. Hmm. Yeah, okay, I'll play around with it. Uh, let me actually make a new set of animations for this anime uh, for this particular motion. Da, 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 da. Okay, let's put her here. And then I'll use basic shapes for now. When I'm figuring this out. So let's see, how does the motion look so far in terms of a sine wave? I'd say it's like... I'd say it's almost like that, kind of. Yeah. So we'll keep that, and then we'll continue to use that as a guide. Um, so I'll move this over here. Kind of advance it forward that way. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm trying to do? Like I move the action line over uh, each time and then hopefully that will give us the a really solid reference. A sign of things to come. <laughs> hmm. Okay, let me duplicate this. feels to sketch out. Uh, I'm gonna use a slightly larger brush size. Um, where, where'd you go? Okay. I'll start with the tail since that's the most uh, what the, the body part that follows it the most obviously.
Is it, oh, okay, already I'm starting to really see the motion here. another frame. Ah, uh, thank you for care combo. All right, I'll take sippy and stretchy in a bit. Uh Better save, too. Okay, let's see. Gura Swim. Yeah, new care combo redeem. It's 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 an all-in-one combo package. And and for only the cost of a single one from before. So I ask myself, what am I doing here? Are you gonna hit out pause? No problem, see ya. Oh, good stretchy. Oh my goodness. I'm just leaving my my right right wing outstretched. Mm. Of course I am Luigi. Fans can, fans can come up with anything they want. Um as long as it's not hurting anybody. Cuz I am no stranger to imagining different uh situations that the char that, that characters in my favorite series might find themselves in. Oh, that too. Yeah, also safe for work. <laughs> okay. Uh. Guess I want to play around with the head position too. Now the arms, since that's in front of everything. Well, actually, no. Let me do the body. This is already looking pretty nice.
Uh, it kind of goes like this, I think. Nice. We're getting there. Now, I, I noticed that the tail kind of moves more than the body. Um, I do want to make the body's motion feel like a bit more. There we go. I think that'll work. I think this is going to look very good. And I just have to... I need to double check make sure that this is actually as long as Gro's tail is supposed to be. At least from her base sprite, because here it doesn't look quite that big. Maybe I could just move this over a little bit by a few pixels. Like this. Yeah, I think that'll do. And now I do the front arm. I think the front arm will kind of like... yeah. Okay, so the shoulder starts here. Something like that, I guess. Oh, okay, I should move the shoulder. so cool. All these little techniques that you can use to kind of like <laughs> help you visualize what kind of motion you want. And do not be afraid to get messy or like make mistakes. Because it's through that sloppy start to your animation that you're going to get the result that you want. Like even 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 now with all the experience that I have, um, it's very easy for me to fall into the trap of being, like, too intimidated by what specifically I would have to, like, what I would specifically have to draw from the base sprite. Like, I find myself, like, inadvertently thinking about, like, 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 okay, how am I going to copy and paste, like, the hand or the head or the, the shoes uh, into this new animation in a way that feels nice? But the solution is to just take the plunge and just, like, draw everything all over again. And then you get like nice fluid motions like this out of that. <laughs> so like it really like it really like pays like for me for me personally to just like shut off the technical side of my brain that wants to like scale everything perfectly and just like go by feeling by intuition first and then you'll 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 get once I get like the motion that I want then I can worry about like scaling everything properly. Yeah, exactly, Mike and Creeper. Okay. So this is feeling pretty good. I just need to figure out what to do with the legs, because I'm not 100% sure about that yet. Large yellow gemstone? <laughs> uh, 
I actually don't know. Uh, the closest I came up with is that it would it would be like a conduit to channel the Kingdom Stone's power to the surface uh, because of it being under so far underground. So like it's basically kind of like a radio tower in that regard. So like Kingdom the Kingdom of Stone's power is drawn to the surface by those yellow gems, and, and then from the yellow gems, uh, people can power their their things. But in reality, I had no idea what I was doing. I was writing the story at the seat, from the seat of my pants. And then only after the fact that, that I, like, try and, like, connect all the pieces together. I'm just gonna put the sleeve here. Sleeve. Oopsie. Okay. <clears throat> oh, it's just so mesmerizing. But okay, what, let's see what I can do with the shoes. Uh, I'll start with like a like a black like dot just to see. Let me save first. Thank you for care combo, Argo. It takes hydrate and sip me. Hmm. Oh my goodness. Yeah, like, the original draft of the story did kind of have, like, a set of crystals that you would need to get. Kind of like the Chaos Emeralds. But I wanted to be different, so I decided to condense that down into just the singular Kingdom Stone. Oh, this kind of motion, maybe. Oh, well, that could work, I guess. How does her shoes actually look in her design? I need to pull up a... I need to pull up a reference again. Gula. Where's Gula? There she be. Okay, yeah. That's what I expected. Nice. Okay. So we'll put the sakis here, I guess. This part needs to be smaller. There we go. Ah, okay. Uh, something like this, I guess. He might. I 
Yeah, sometimes it just pays off to go by feeling rather than thinking. Okay, I'm gonna swap out the head now. done high-res animations? Uh, yes. Uh, one example would be Beta Telly's model in Live 2D. Do I mostly animate in a single layer? Uh, mostly when I'm just trying to block things out. If there's something that I'm worried that I might mess up and need the part for later, um, then I will make one, more than one layer at that point. Yeah, and I think I need to have her hair, like, move a little bit, too. But, oh my goodness. This is gonna look pretty nice when it's done. Like, I think I'll make a second layer for the trident. Once I get to that point. Alright, I'm gonna make this part right here, this little toothy part of her hoodie. up here. I actually think I maybe need another uh, frame of animation there. even six, I suppose. Kind of interesting how that worked out, though. Hmm. I'll worry about it later. Let's add some shading here. Hmm. 
Okay, now the hoodie part. I think maybe what I need is to just make the torso a bit, like, larger down there. There you go. That works for me. Okay, just this one now. It is not. Oh, it's just Discord acting up. Mom. Oh, sweet. <laughs> one of the team members is asking if Chrono Gearhead can have more chip tune music, like the one that Neon just made. I wouldn't mind getting that as like a mini bass and then kind of like putting my own spin on it. I'm. 
at the wall to have some have some cool melodies as a MIDI bass. Da da ba 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 ba. Okay, let's do this. Okay, I just need to figure out what to do with the hair. Because it feels too static right now. Also, I need to draw the hood and at these other angles. I guess the hair would just follow the same motion. Let's just play around, just like move, shift a few pixels around. Pretty nice, I guess. Yeah. Mm. I'll move this over here. over like this. up the hand.
Oh, I hear Sammy thumping his leg because he's got an itch. Well, it's not so much that I can hear it, it's that I can feel it. Because the ground's kind of shaking. Way. Let's get a nice outline going. Ugh, okay. Okay, cool. Nice. Sweet! Oh, Edge Drive just posted in the team server. Oh, oh my goodness, Edge. What vibes? Because we're, we're, we're currently deciding on what the color palette should be for the first World of Chaos level, which is like a highway stage. I suggested initially uh, like kind of like a gradient between like gold and magenta and blue. That might give too strong of a Studiopolis vibe, so I really like the alternate colors that you suggested. Edge cooked with, with cool color palettes. I think of those... oh my goodness. I can't decide between the... the, the like the number two, three, and four. Um... Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm trying to picture in my head what the actual tile set would look like. Hmm. I kind of like... <sighs> okay. Let's see, what's most... What would be the most bay of the four? I think Midas's touch? I like both Midas's touch and pastels, but I think like a Midas touch would like be more reminiscent of Bales. D yeah, I don't know how you cook this good either. Cause like like I just like gave them all like like cute like the, each palette a cute name, and the Midas's touch one has like it focuses mostly on the gold. Pastels. Pleasant on the eyes as well. They're both pleasant on the eyes. Ba, 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 ba. But yeah, I'd say Midas is touch out of those four. Na, 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 na. Okay, I need to move this over a little bit. Okay, you'll head in that direction. Gonna go eat your starving? Yes, please go eat. I shall be eating relatively soon as well. A lovely shrimp and fries dinner. Courtesy of Mama Spacey. And I honestly feel like her trident doesn't need to... Um, really move at all during this animation. Looks looks good. Uh, so what I will do is I will grab this. I'm just gonna take out everything except for the trident itself. Mm 
Hey, na na moon. Actually, I think I could keep that blank if she's just holding it in the same spot as before. So we could have her hold it like this, but uh, I think she wouldn't want to swim with the pointy end pointing out like that. So I'll have her do this. Something like that, I guess. I could also make her hold it in her backhand so that I just layer it behind everything. Let me do this. Yeah, I don't care about the inconsistency, just, that just feels nicer. Have you tried using onion skin function function? I have. I didn't feel like it really made that much of a difference for me. Um, compared to just flipping between the sprite frames on their own. But I do know a few uh, pixel artists um, who like really benefit from it. So it's nice that it's there. Okay, also the, uh, the tassels here are something I should probably work on. Lights. Ah, Atsumori Kofuhara. Hi. Thank you for stopping by. Hope you're doing well. You know of electric electric glacier? Uh doesn't ring a bell, I don't think. Yeah, I like flipping between, fr between frames. Well. Well, let's do this. I don't need the sine wave anymore, so I could probably clear that out. Where is it? Where, okay, what's the lowest that this goes? Okay, this is the one. Nice. Looks pretty nice. Maybe I could adjust the Y position of some frames so that, like... Uh, so that the body moves in a more balanced way. It could also be because I have an odd number of frames 
rather than an even one. Um. Okay, I think I need another frame that's kind of like based off this one. this up here. I'm just gonna fudge it since we've already drawn a lot of this. Tell me hi. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you for the compliments. And thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Ah, hope you're doing well. Oh, you have a Nira email, Amber Learner. Nice. <laughs> that looks super cool. Okay, let's move this down like this. Uh, ears like speakers yeah they, they've got um i've got earbuds in my ears and if you notice they light up when i speak and they also kind of like pulse a little bit when i'm not doing anything yeah once again major props to my lovely papa kvx art uh for this amazing ring also 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 i have wings i mean i, I can do normal hands too I got wings, and I can wrap the wings around my body, and 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 I can hang upside down. Bat, I'm a bat. <laughs> yeah, I'll just hang out on the ceiling a little bit like this. Uh, but at the same time, I will also turn off my tablet because it looks weird otherwise. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'll just move my, uh, flip my canvas around like this. So y'all can still see me. You don't see many bat OCs. Yeah. I mean, drawing upside down. <laughs> Daytona. Drawing upside down isn't really a big deal if my tablet is upside down, too. I mean, I'm not on a tablet, but let's pretend that I am. Well.
Okay, cool. I could, yeah, that's true. I could draw on my smartphone as well. basically just redrawing everything here for this frame and hopefully it results in a smoother animation oh nearly all of your animation and drawings are done on the phone nice yeah it's not the tool it's how you use it A lot of people swear by tablets, and that's cool. A lot of people swear by drawing with the mouse, like me, and that's cool as well. Uh, okay, let's move this one down like this. Okay, that feels more balanced. Yeah, when you're making, like, animations where the character moves, like, you know, like, walking, swimming, running, that sort of thing, <coughs> you always want an even number of frames. Uh, one for each leg. So that way it feels nice and balanced. Yeah, I really like how this looks, honestly. I think it could be used as is because it only appears in a few places, but... Yeah, now I just need to do, like, the, like, the swim idle. Or she's just like like floating in place. Oh my goodness. Kind of mesmerizing. So yeah, that was pretty I'd say today was pretty productive. We got we got this animation here, uh, and then we also got um, the running animation for Chloe that I finished earlier. Which looks like this. Uh Yeah! Ta-da! I imagine Chloe could benefit from a dashing animation too. Because we do race her. But I think I'm going to use what I learned from working on Gura's swimming animation to make a swimming animation for her orca companion that she's riding on. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Boop, boop, boop. Wiggle, 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 boo, 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 boo. wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Yay! I think this is a good place to wrap it up. I'll feed the puppies in a few minutes, and then and then I'll get ready for a very nice shrimp dinner, courtesy of Mama Spacey. Yeah. Okay, let me get down. Mm. Let's see. Boop. Boop. All right, so. Without further ado, I shall bid you all adieu. Thank you all so much. And let's see if there's anyone we can raid today. Um, let's see. What good beans are online today? <laughs> oh, Bob Ross is online. <laughs> uh, I mean, obviously, it's owned, the channel is owned by um, like the company that owns this stuff. Uh, Kemi is playing Halo. Rose Doodle is playing Minecraft. Uh, Mega G Wolf is playing something called Voices of the Void. Susie the Silky is doing art just like us. Oh, um. Luigi, Zerx uh, showed me those those Minecraft skins. They're quite impressive. Oh, okay, so Susie is currently on break. 
Um, don't know when she's coming back. Let's see, who else is... Uh, is anyone playing our game right now, actually? Oh, Spectrum, hi! We're just wrapping up. Uh, okay, um... Yeah, no one's playing our game right now. Is anyone playing Pedal Crash? I gotta give the Pedal Crash love. Ba, 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 ba. Let's see. Okay, yeah, Susie's back, so we'll just raid her. Raid Susie. The Silky. She's a bird. <laughs> I know so many good beans that are bird VTubers. What's one tuning in? Thank you so much. All right, and our raid message uh, is well, bum bum. This one. So without further ado, I shall bid you all do. Thank you all so much for hanging out with me today, uh, and I hope you all have a fantastic weekend. Please take care of yourselves, and yeah, hope you have a nice time. And I'll see you next week. I should be able to stream at my, on my usual days, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays at 1 p.m. Eastern. I'll, I'll give some thought about what, what we could play. And then, of course, I'll have, like, another dev stream on Friday, as always. Well, almost as always. Well, yeah, thank you all. That's a wrap. Bye.